Okay, this operation, we're going to have to disconnect your battery. I disconnect the negative terminal and the positive. I took off the positive because I'm going to be working on the car for a while. Took off the air, air assembly, where the air comes in. So, now, you get your power steering fluid reservoir, pull it up out of the way. And there are some clips to get out of the way, electrical connectors, the power steering switch, the electrical connector had to be taken off, as well as a little tiny, um, there's a screw hole, but that's where this um, a ground switch went to be able to get that big old power steering hose full of fluid out of the way. And I'm using the tool paper, the, two, the TP, tool paper, the TP holder to hold that up in place because it's still got power steering fluid in it and it's still ready to rock and roll but here is a secret location of the computer there it is that's the bolt you need to remove to access a computer inside your car so here we go let's do it Okay, once you get that loosened, there is a computer behind this. All the cables inside here, all the wires. And inside there, you can see all those little pins in that computer. And it's shiny. I'll pull it out here in a minute. I just don't want to get it dirty. This has a ground wire on it. So I'm going to disconnect it on the side. Okay, there's a ground wire right here. I want, to get, I want to get that get that off there so I can take the cover off and then pull the computer out. Definitely make sure you disconnect the battery before you do any of this. Both terminals and wait. I'd wait about an hour or two. That's what I did this time. And whenever you reinstall this computer, your car is going to drive horribly for a while because it needs to it needs to relearn all the idle value, idle values, and all all that stuff. So I'll get that off, and then I'll Alright, I'm gonna pull that wire out. That was the ground connection. Pull that out of the way. Oh, get all this stuff in the way. And find a way to. Cool. Alright, there's two bolts down there. I need a disconnect to be able to pull the whole thing out. Okay, there's your computer. There's a faster down in there. And there's one on the other side, right there. I'm gonna have to get those removed. Look at all those pins. Definitely don't want dirt down in there. So I'm going to remove those fasteners. Looks like a little seed. I don't think it can it can grow. I don't think it can, it can grow down there. It might grow into a robot. But that's cool right there. Look at it. It's hiding. Isn't that a nice place to put a computer? The main computer of your car. Right behind your nasty power steering fluid reservoir. I don't know how these cars <laughs> run being rigged up like this, but they do. <laughs> uh, here at Mad Human Pizza, we definitely live on the wild side. So I got that rigged up with the TP holder and the flathead screwdriver, and that's the other side of the computer and all the pins. And I 
got this rigged up so where the power steering is. Oh, beautiful wind. But there's a huge amount of wires going in there. You can just see how many pins are in there. Count them if you want to. Oh, jeez. It's time to, time to take those fasteners off. Let's get to it. Okay, it's a 10, kind of an awkward angle, but a 10 millimeter deep socket. And this is a 1 fourth inch drive, and I have that holding that up. This is kind of an awkward angle to get down to that fastener, but I'm on it. Alright, we're loosening that side up, now it's time to loosen the other side up. Okay, the, I removed the two fasteners. Remove those, and now there's this big ass cover that needs to come off. I am now pulling it out. Uh, you gotta pull both sides up a little by little each time, so to get them off the studs. And this is zero, pretty much zero clearance. So, pull one side up, the other side goes back down. And at the same time, you're trying not to touch the uh, pins. So that's what I was messing with right there for a while. Oh yeah, good old goop. But yeah, it's all power steering fluid and crusty crap. And then the computer could probably just pull right out. Let me get you a great view. There it is. Just gonna pull that sucker right out. I went ahead and pulled some of this crap out of the way. Okay, now you gotta go in through the passenger side to get to the other side. So let's do it. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to get this shot, but. Now, the back end is in the passenger compartment. If I can get my hand, there it is. Alright, so right near the floor. There it is. Let's pull that back. And that's the back end of it. So I'm going to have to take that fastener off right there. And probably just pull it right out. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, I still got the 10 millimeter deep socket on there. I don't need it be, to be... A deep socket, but like I said, it's already on there from the other side. And I just need to get this off here. This is a one fourth inch drive. You can use whatever you want, as long as it's 10 millimeter. So I'm just gonna take this big old white. <clears throat> protector holder holder upper and then the, I should be able to just, just pull right out so I just want to get that off there and I wanted to record and show you guys taking this nut off because it's tedious and you deserve to watch tedious work because that's just how it is so we're gonna pull that off. This is live. Live. There's that. Oh, pretty. And just gonna pull that out. Yeah, pull. Come on. Just gonna pull it. Come on, man. Obviously, there's something pulling on the other end. That doesn't sound very good. Okay. Had to pull it, do a little jiggling and pulling. But there it is. Let's see if I can. Wow, there's the outside world. That's what that looks like. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go take this beast and see what it looks like. Okay, there's the computer in all its glory. There's all the pins, a bunch of them, and then there you see in the middle there's a screw hole to where it gets held down. And then here's the back end. 
right. There's that in. And there's gonna be find some numbers on here and type it in to a search engine and you'll be able to find exactly the same model if you need to buy a new one. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I typed in 97 I typed in 97BB-AMC into a search engine on a computer and a 1997 Mercury Mystique, that's what the car is. A 1997 Mercury Mystique is what came up. It's electric, it's in an electric control unit, an ECU. It's behind the power steering reservoir. The car is a four cylinder, 121 cubic inch diameter, two liter automatic transmission. And basically this is a computer and it does a lot of stuff and it's worth this device here is about a hundred a little over a hundred dollars. You can buy it used. But it's 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 pretty cool. There's all the pins. So I just look that up and it's a good time. Eww. This is an engine computer an engine control computer an ECM or an ECU for a 1997 Mercury Contour. It's the Mercury Mystique. Thank you. Two liter, four cylinder. Check this out. You can see that. Isn't that cool? Alright, let's put this beast back in. Let's do it. All set up here. Okay, first thing you want to recognize is where it says this side up. This side up. So that's how we're going to install it. Let's put it down in there like that. And we're going to come. Okay, this side up. What I want to do is go around from the bottom and push it up through. So you just stay put. And hang out here a minute. Just gonna leave that right there so you can see. Okay, as you're installing this, you're going to have to get that one, that stud in, and then the other stud, which is poking right through. It's going to be tricky, but you can do it. Make sure this is... Okay, I got that one stud in, and then the other side, I got it to go in. Pushing it from the compa from the passenger side up, up and out, and now I'm gonna put these little fasteners, little rusty fasteners, back on there. Might use the wire brush on them, and then put them on there, tighten them down. That'll straighten it out, make it look good. And then I'll go into pasture. Okay, I got that pushed back up in place. They had the two little studs up in the holes. And now it's time to put this back on. Try to figure out how it goes back on there. It probably goes on there like that. And you shove it down. Put the screw in there. And it looks like a, it's a good time. Button her back up. Usually you just 
you just um this is how you install the ECU. Usually you just un unbutton and then each person puts their clothes back on themselves. But this I'm gonna put the clothes back on. So put that in there. Get that nut on there, in there, however you want to do it. Get your uh, tool ready and go to town. Go to town. Get your mind in the gutter and go to town. 10 millimeter. Put this on there. Go from the back first. And then to get this computer in there, I'm going to go to the back. Do the back first and then do the front get her from the back and then get her from the front that's how you do it okay use this and the nuts put this down in there and then put this nut over top of the stud this side and that side down inside there i'm gonna do that next okay once you get that on now you put this on it screws right in. You see how it screws that right down in there? And then, once you get that on, you're almost done. Now this part's tricky because you have to get that stud lined up with that hole down there in the computer. And once that hole gets lined up and screwed in, that's when all those pins go inside those holes. Okay, a tip when in installing this computer, it'll say this side up. What it means is when you're in the passenger compartment, the side up will be from the reference point of you looking up at it. Because on this side, that doesn't even make sense. What you need to do is make sure it connects to that part before you install it. There'll be little tiny grooves at the bottom. Make sure it all lines up and then just install it in that way. We have little divots near the bottom and right now behind that cover it'll say this side up upside down on the bottom. It's really retarded but that's just how it's 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 backwards man it's backwards. Now all I gotta do is put this stuff back together get my TP my TP thing out of the way oh I need to connect some ground back up I want to go do that all right I got that use a 10 millimeter to get that um, ground back on now it's gonna shove this back down in here there's a bunch of firewall paper protection with a bunch of particles everywhere so don't mind don't mind that get that down in there make sure you don't break anything because there's wires crap everywhere wire right here all right what you want to do is get that back there's grooves right here and down there you want to slide it down into the grooves I guess just watch me fail right here that thing and that thing goes down into some grooves clean them out you when I get back in there. I'm gonna remove this because it's getting me mad, man. Get that out of the way. It's not even gonna get, I have to remove the whole thing. I told you I'd get it. Got that fucker. 
All right, once you get that put back in there, just connect your other connections that you took off, like the power steering switch. They got crap everywhere. You gotta clean it up. Ah, my wife's cooking some food. I'm hungry. Man, I made a bunch of there's a bunch of goop in there. I made a bunch of videos today. Really, I release them every four days. Push this down, and then put it in there, and then it snaps up. You know, it's on there. Uh, and then here's this ground wire that I mentioned before. I believe no, it's not that screw. I got screws everywhere around here. This thing broke off. And it goes right here. Oh well, we don't need that. We just need two screws holding down the plenum chamber. I believe it must be this one. Um, looking for the rust marks on the bottom of it. Make sure it, it it's the same one. It's doesn't look like it's it goes there. But I'm probably wrong. No, it, that this goes over there. I took that off just because uh, I was mad at it. That'll happen. So we'll just put that back in there. Um, don't forget to connect the battery back up and the um, the air plenum uh, ventilator, or whatever the heck it's called, the mass airflow sensor. Don't do this, but I'm going to because it's a piece of crap anyway. There, it gets the job done. I just gotta find that screw. There it is. I found it. Alright, we're gonna go back over here. There it is. You can tell it, it goes back in there because all this rust around there. Alright, we're gonna put this ground switch back down there. Eventually I'll find out. I could clean that off, but you know what? You can. That F and B back on there. If I can, man, this is crazy. And then find the appropriate, appropriate socket to put back on there. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did. Taking that computer out and putting it back in took forever because it said this side up, and it it didn't know what I was talking about. I had to go back through the video, and I looked at it. That was the only way from my own video I could tell which way it, it went I took it off that's good to do take take a lot of pictures video whatever you can do because it'll help you and it helped me I was able to put it back on right without trial and error so that was good times look at this stupid thing right here look at that don't you hate clearances like this I wish I could move this stupid thing right here stupid thing can't move that thing. It's it's there permanent. Ow, my back. Oh, it's permanently there because it's probably not even the right size. No. All right, it's eight millimeter. I had a freaking ten millimeter. So it's eight. Tighten that down. There. It's it's a ground, so it doesn't have to be on there. You don't have to kill it. Just get it on there tight. All right, now. Just, just button it back up and run it, and it should run really crappy for a while. The emissions will be bad. Will be, will be bad because the computer's got to relearn. It's got to relearn idle, all kind of fuel trim, all kind of stuff. It's got to relearn. So thank you, and enjoy the show.